for the fastest men and women on sand. The women's beach flags final. Jack, we've waited all winter long for this one. Things are about to heat up. Oh, Josh, we know it heats up when the sand dancers hit the floor. And that's exactly what we're going to see here today. It's going to be super hard, super fast, and super exciting. Oh, isn't it ever? We love it. At top of the screen there, the defending Australian champion, Melissa Crawcroft wilson has to go in as the heavy favourite at the moment. But the local girl, Michaela Jensen, on her home beach, has home sand advantage here. Taylor Stickler, originally from just down the road at Mooloola Bar, now made her way to the very, very strong Karua Club, the best in the business at the moment. They've got a big rivalry with Corumban. Watch for that today. Up and away, the first beach flags race of the year. The girls, very, very well done. It looks like, oh, one of the local girls will go home there. So it is Michaela Jensen. The commentator's curse strikes again. She was just that little bit slower than the rest of the field there. A little bit of push and shove, tried to find a flag, and there was just no opening. Well, it was a good effort from Michaela Jensen, Josh, to get herself into the final. She is an under-19 competitor, and four of the eight girls in the final are juniors. Lily Peck, Taylor Stickler, and Beth Underwood are all juniors also. This lady is not a junior, the most experienced in the field, 10-time Australian champion, current world champion. Bree Masters, she's the current World Beach Sprint Champion, so watch for her as well. Lots of speed once she's up and going. Those distinctive Karawa caps. Up and away, very, very fast on the outside. Melissa Karkoff, Wilson, no dramas at all. And it's two home beach competitors in a row. Beth Underwood, who goes home. Talk us through this one, Jack. She's next to the champ. Well, you know you're in trouble, Josh, when you line up beside Mel Karkoff, Wilson. She's very fast across the sand and gets up extremely quick as well. It was Evie Keevil that got to the flag very quickly in that round, Josh. So certainly going to be interesting to watch as we get into the later rounds. Well, first competition of the season. It was definitely Keevil who got there first. Krakroft Wilson knew she only had one flag on the outside. Elizabeth Forsythe here, the Kurumban competitor, the only one not in a yellow cap. She's on the outside. Bree Masters there next to her. And Evie Keevil, is this about finding form this summer for these girls? First one back. It's been a long, cold winter. Their first opportunity to tear things up here on the sand in the beach flags final. They're in the starter's hands, final adjustments. We're on with Evie Keevil. Off and away, very, very fast on the outside on this end. Oh, and a little bit of push and shove there between Foresight and Masters, but they both get a flag, and it is Lily Peck who goes home. Finished second in the under-15 beach flags at the Aussie title, but just didn't have that raw open speed here. And Forsyth was up very quick, Josh, and she took it to Masters and tried to knock her out, and it was Forsyth who decided that she could take her own flag on the outside and give Masters a chance. That speed from the Karaman girl pushed everybody right, and it just forced out Lily Peck there. A good job here to be in the Open final. She'll be back, that's for sure. Once again, Evie Keevil trying to do it for the home club here, have a big support crew, especially the beach flags. Everyone loves to get down. Watch the guys and girls get sandy and really battle it out here for the beach flags. Taylor Stickler, close to home. No, she's mixing it with the big guns here. It's Karumba and Alex, and then the three Karawa caps on the right-hand side. Off and away, very quick reaction there. Oh, and Evie Keevil has flown out of the blocks. Too quick, cut across the Karawa competitor there, and Taylor Stickler goes home, a medalist in the beach flags at the Australian Championships. Evie Keevil is the form competitor in this competition right now. Well, Josh, you have to be. If you know there's three Karawa girls on the line, you know they're going to try and work together as a team. And Keevil's done the only way, the only thing that you can do to beat them is to get out in front and race from in front, and that's exactly what she's doing. So we had two Alex competitors go, then two Karawa competitors go. We're left with two from Karawa, one from Alex, one from Karumba, and you know the two Karawa girls, so familiar training partners, Bree Masters, Mel Crawcroft wilson they're both on that right-hand side. They're going to push left, and I think Elizabeth Forsyth and Evie Keeva will work together and push back, so we're going to have a clash in the middle here. Let's go. 
off and away very quick. The girls go right. Oh, they do exactly how we thought it was going to play out. And Bree Masters, she will be the odd one out and will miss a medal here in the opening round of the Summer of Surf. Well, Josh, another one bites the sand, and it's Bree Masters who's going home early. She's the silver medalist at the world titles in the beach flags, and she is the beach sprint world champion. But, Josh, she didn't have the speed on the sand today. You know what's incredible? It seems like Evie Keevil, who gave the world championships a miss, looks to be in the best form out of these four girls. Got to that flag, well, in time with the other two at least. So maybe missing the Worlds will come back to help her here in the summer. And Bree masters the disappointment on her face. So we've got 10-time Australian champion, Melissa Crackroft wilson the hometown girl, Evie Keevil from Alexandra Headland in the centre. And then on the right-hand side, Elizabeth Forsyth from Corumban, one of the big guns in beach flag competition over the last couple of years, was an open finalist at the Aussie titles. Expect the two girls from the outside to get away quick. Evie Keeble will have to be special here. Off and away, very, very fast in the centre from Keeble, though. They're going to battle it out there. Whoa! And Evie Keeble misses out. I thought for a second she had it, Jack. She seems happy to finish with bronze. Well, she had her shoulder in front, Josh, and that looked bizarre to me. It looked like she almost pulled up and let Forsyth have it. I mean, I'm no expert in the beach flag competition, but if you have a close look, as they get about three quarters of the way down the track, it looks like Keeble pulls up stumps and allows Forsyth to go through with it. Oh, Forsyth's quick, and she's experienced there, that's for sure. A little bit of a tactic, gets the shoulder in front, gets the arm out. Nothing illegal there, just experience racing. And of course, Rubbing's racing here. And Mel Crowcroft wilson has been, well, I guess, under the radar so far in this Beach Flags final, Jack. You go head to head with Elizabeth Forsyth. Two girls, one flag, one gold medal up for grabs and the perfect start to the summer here. This is the final Beach Flags run here at Alexandra Headland, round one. Crowcroft wilsons down. Forsyth just taking her time, trying to compose herself. Looks very, very focused there. Forsyth in the green and white Corumban cap there. Crowcroft Wilson in the Karua cap, yellow, white and blue stripes. She's the Australian team captain. Just making some final gardening adjustments there. And they're in the starter's hands. Off and away, very quick, Forsyth. She, oh, a little stumble there from Crackroft Wilson. And Forsyth got her arm in front. A little stumble was enough, and she was very, very happy with that Forsyth. She is the opening summer of surf round. Beach Flags champion there, and a stumble was enough. Well, Josh, it's not every day you take out the world champion, the 10-time Australian champion. And, of course, Elizabeth Forsyth is excited. When she got her hands on that flag, when she had the opportunity to hold it up, you know she's never going to let it go. But to Crackroft Wilson's credit, even after the stumble, she didn't make it easy for her. Pushed her the entire way. The big bump there gets the arm out in front, gets a face full of sand for her trouble, but she's the summer surf champion. And, Josh, isn't she happy about it? We take another look at the run and have a look at that. Just edges her way in front, face full of sand, <laughs> and there it is. Oh, throws the flag high. It's what you've got to do in Beach Flags competition. Corumban takes the lead here in the open female competition. Mel Crackroft wilson in second. Evie Keevil does it for the hometown there. Alexandra Headland in third. Karawas, Masters, Stickler and Peck. Underwood and Jensen round us out. It's been good, been really tough, didn't go um, to world, so made it easy to train right through. Yeah, that was probably the toughest race I've ever had. Mel's one of my biggest idols and it was just, yeah, really tough, good to meet her. <laughs> yeah, well, she just came back from Worlds, so she had a bit of time off, but yeah, she gave me a good run. 